44 pulled into driving two vehicles involved, 1986 red Toyota pickup truck, red Chevy Silverado, caller refused station 42, the driver is Spanish speaking only. Request 34 is for a 42. So go ahead and ask the dispatch to send us that call because it, since it's in our beat. Edward 116 PD. Good. Edward 116. Can you send us the 44 on Central Coors? Hey, Edward 116. Color thing is going to be right next to the drive time at Central and Old Coors. She has to leave to go get her insurance. Say 10 4, can you go ahead? 10 4. Can you update our location? Very good. Very good. Yes, because the call is where? Uh, Central and Coors, right? I mean, we're a good, what? Mile at least? Maybe more east of where the of where the call was dispatched, right? Why is that important? I mean, if you get into a scuffle, you know, right? We're they're they're going to send units. Away. They're going to send units to Coors and Central, when in all actuality, we're going to be at Old Coors and Central. During that investigation, Officer Martinez decided to go ahead and cite one of the drivers. That was his discretion. He thought he he was correct. He's allowed to do that, and did so. He cited, her, he cited one of the drivers for um, failure to keep proper lookout as uh, she rear-ended the other driver. Okay, there's no points off your record. You don't have to go to court. Um, okay. And there's not going to be any points taken off your driving record just or anything warning, like that. Just like it's, okay. just, it's a warning. I don't even know if I have any more points on my record. I don't even know. Okay, what I need you to do is sign here. Okay. Okay. It happens to the best of us, so. Okay, this on your way. Typically, after he's done with an investigation and the parties that we spoke to are released, um, we'll always do what's called the face sheet of our report. There's, you know, that, that's, that's basically what we call it. And all that is, is that's just entering all the person information on the report and vehicle information. And pretty much every call we go to or, you know, every stop we do is going to require some amount of documentation. Now, whether that's just leaving comments on the call, like a, a short paragraph as to what we did or what we found out or, you know, what happened, that needs to be clearly articulated, grammatically correct, it needs to be chronologically accurate, etc. That's why a big part of police work is, is police reports. It's very important for an officer to, you know, clearly articulate specific events, injuries, times, dates, places, whatever that, that happened on a, on a call that we go to. The more information you have in a, in a report is important because, and, and this is what I always try to teach my recruits, not so much for their investigation, because their investigation, you know, they'll, they'll take the report and then send it to a detective. So they need to put as much clearly articulated, accurate information as possible for the detective or somebody else that's assigned that case. And for, I mean, we don't always, in the field, we don't always handle our own cases. So we have to forward them sometimes, which is a, another important reason for ha to have your reports articulated. Somebody's gonna, somebody else is gonna follow up on it.